Hello, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. It is the Sun Sage back to do another July reading for you guys. So I'm going to see what's going on for you in general. Let's see what messages come through for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising. And those of you that are cross watchers connected to Cancer, let's see what is coming in, what's going on. All right. So Two of Swords. Also, happy birthday to the Cancer Leo Cuspers and to those of you Cancers who celebrate throughout the month of July. Happy birthday. The Two of Swords is here. Let's see what else we have for you. All right. Uh, Page of Cups. So mm, I feel like somebody is trying to get back in your good graces and they're trying to flirt with you. And I feel like they may be sending you cute text messages or commenting under your picture. It feels like this is somebody you already may have ended things with or somebody that you just like, I can't take you seriously. However, this person is sweet on you and it feels like they're still trying their hand. All right. What is this? Going, what is going on for cancers? We have the two of cups. They could miss being in a relationship with you if you ended things with them. All right. They could be missing you a lot. They could be missing being in a yeah, knight of cups. They're still in love with you. And you guys are still in love with them too, but you're in two different places. You are prepared or preparing to move away from this person. They are coming back or never really, they never really let you go emotionally. So let's see what else we have for cancers. All right. You're dealing with somebody though, who I, um, yeah, death. So, um, some of you will be like making a decision like, do I want to even entertain this person? That's what it feels like it comes down to. Ace of Pentacles. I'm starting a new life. I'm talking to new people. I'm interested in new energy. So I feel like that's your overall sort of thing that's happening. This person feels that. And so it feels like they're coming in right as you have blocked them out of your life or blocked them in some way. And it feels like they're not done, right? It feels like they want another chance here. It feels like this person is somebody that you guys may have stopped dealing with because at the time they were not giving you what you needed. And so now it feels like they're talking a lot about two of cups, nine of cups. You're the only one for me. I should have never, you know, stopped dealing with you. I should have, you know, whatever. But um, again, with this death here, some of you are going to go, okay, I'm satisfied with the changes this person has made and I'm, I'm going to allow them back into my life. And some of you are going, this is really sweet, but I've actually already started, you know, living a new life, Ace of Pentacles, pouring into myself, investing into myself, and I don't have time for this. Okay. So somebody here still wants you. All right. Why is the two of swords here? Some of you have blocked this person. Yep. Nine of wands confirmed could be a king of wands. <laughs> All right. It could, it could be a show off -y type person, somebody who likes attention from a whole bunch of other people. Having attention from you wasn't enough until you left the situation. And now it feels like this person is putting up a fight to get you back or putting up a fight to stay around. So the nine of wands feels like you have them blocked. So it's not easy for them to contact you. They may even go through a friend or did go through a friend, like tell cancer to call me or, you know, how's cancer doing? Yeah. Give cancer my number or something like that. Um, this person may be trying to be nice to your family, okay? Page of Cups to your friends, trying to just make their way back in. Five of Wands, yep. So judgment confirmed. They are trying to make their way back into your life, trying to, you know, soften up the people around, around them. This is somebody that for some of you, your friends and family didn't like, okay? So um, some of them may be trying to warm up back, you know, those people first and feel their way around the situation. This is just specifics about, you know, a cancer who could be dealing with somebody who gave you a lot of trauma, a lot of stress. And this person is trying to come back and your family is like, you better not, right? Because the five of wands feels like they put you in these stressful situations. It feels like they may even have had you competing for their heart. And while they are coming back talking about change and they've redeemed themselves, I still feel like you guys are not forgetting what was done to you throughout the course of your connection to them with the two of cups this two of cups feels like you love them but that's what it feels like i love you but look page of cups the devil i love you but um we can only be friends right now i love you but i don't trust you anymore or i don't trust you to with my heart again so um yeah i feel like this comes from this queen of pentacles 
a lot of you are loving on yourself. A lot of you are spending money on yourself, doing good things for yourself. A lot of you are changing your lifestyle habits. You're working out more or you're, you know, changing your home around. You're investing more in a garden. You're doing more for yourself as far as like your hobbies and your passions, right? You're investing in your business, um, Capricorn energy here. So I, I do feel like while this person is somebody that you still care about or you could even still love for a lot of you, this is somebody that brought negative activity into your life. This is someone that had you like sort of hooked on them and it was very difficult to let go. So now that some of you have let go, um, some of you, your, your job saved you or your, your business saved you because if you didn't have that, you probably still would have been clinging to this person. Now this person feels like they're still clinging to you, but a lot of you have separated yourself from them. You're working on financial independence. You're working on getting your, your bills in order. You're working on financial, um, freedom here. This person though, Knight of Cups is still hanging on. Mm. And this page of cups is here twice. So I feel like they're not going to stop trying to reach out to you. Ace of Wands, they believe that they can, you know, have something new with you. Some of them may see you looking sexy. Yep. They're like, I would look good with cancer. Cancer's looking good right now, right? You may have recently posted some pictures. And so they're showing up just because, you know, you're looking great. And I feel like this is saying that there is some sort of like attraction right now to how you're presenting yourself to the world, um, which tells me that they've possibly seen you on social media and they're ready to reach out. Again, it may be a no-go for you. All right, with death here, some of you may have just like X that person off. Even if you still care, you're just like, nope, I'm not going to ever invest in that again. Page, yeah, they've been watching. Page of Swords, they've been watching. <sighs> I feel like they're still not talking about like future though. Like two of wands in the reverse. They're still not, they still don't really have a plan. They're still not really ready you know, to, to kind of give you that stable, solid situation. So some of you will sense this, right? And very Cancerian intuitive energy, you'll sense this. And it feels like, you know, this person is just coming back because they recently saw you looking good or they heard something about you and they're being nosy here. Um, but yeah, some of you may end up leaving that door closed because you're more focused on what's coming in. Um, the good things that have been happening for you. Let's keep going. What's going on with cancers? Yeah, they're not going to stop trying to reach you. Page of Wands. This is somebody who may be commenting more on your stuff that you post. Hierophant. Let's see. Two of Pentacles here. What do we have? We have Taurus showing up. All right. Thank you. Seven of swords. Okay. And we have the moon. Yeah. Um, so yes, it feels like this person is going to say that they've changed. They are going to act as if they've changed and they've transformed. And I was going through a lot in my life, but now it's done and over with. The seven of wands is telling you to remain vigilant because it doesn't feel like the complete truth. While they may have experienced, experienced some changes in their life, some of them actually feel like those changes are very minimal, all right, with that page of wands. The Hierophant is still where they're struggling, right? There's some sort of spiritual um, awakening they may have recently had that made them feel like, okay, I need to go back to cancer, something like that. But it doesn't feel like they're ready for that. Like they may have run away from that journey. Um, they may be, you know, in and out of sort of that awakening phase of, yeah, I don't know if I really want to change, right? I just want to tell cancer that I changed so I can get cancer back and then kind of just get back, get us back comfortable. So remain vigilant with this person. Your boundaries are definitely helpful here. Um, this king of pentacles with this page of wands, it feels like they have a long way to go before they get to this, but I do feel like this person want the reason why some of them may be trying to contact you or may want to talk to you more is because they could have a new job or they could be an apprentice and they could have a new trade or something. And they want to share that with you. Of course, I feel this energy of them wanting to use that as an opening back into your life um, to talk about this awakening they've had. What is this hierophant? But it feels like something is, um yeah, they, so the chariot, that's your energy. 
some of you asked this person to level up, okay? You asked them to get on your level and they were dragging their feet. It was only when you left or when you stopped dealing with them that it feels like they started to take any action. And so I do feel like this person has had some sort of change. It feels like the main changes they've had are career-wise. I feel like they want to talk to you about that. I feel like they want to include you in sort of this new journey that they're on. But again, the Two of Pentacles feels like this is somebody who... Things go great for two weeks. They're consistent for two weeks and then they're back to running away from this. So some of you are right to be skeptical of this person. While it feels like they've had a really great sort of <laughs> advancement in some way, the high priestess with justice here feels like there's still something they may not be telling you. There's still something they may not be completely giving you all the details about, right? They got a new job, but they're not telling you that their ex works there. They got a new opportunity, but they're not saying that they also have are talking to somebody else. So it feels like this is um, somebody who's still going to try to hold on to information, feel you out a little bit, see how you're feeling about them, and then make their own decision of whether they're going to sort of really, 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 uh, you know, get serious with you or whether they're going to continue to play games. Seven of Swords here. And let's see why this is here. Ace of Pentacles. Be skeptical of any sort of new beginnings they're offering. Be skeptical of any sort of dates they set with you. Yeah, let's meet up next weekend. Meet me here at three o'clock. I'm picking up someone gets stood up. Um, the moon here or somebody it could be in danger of getting stood up. Yep. With the seven of wands coming through again. Um, what's coming through for you guys, six of swords at the bottom of the deck is keep going. Right. I feel like this is somebody who is doing really big things and they are translating that to, OK, I need to go get cancer back now. And I feel like there's still something about the relationship aspects that they're going to be lacking in. All right. Um, it feels like there's going to be some information. They're still really trying to keep away from you. All right. So just be mindful of that. While there has been some advancement, I feel in their money or career relationship wise, they still feel a little sneaky, a little secretive. They still feel like they don't want to tell you everything. And it really feels like um, this is somebody that if you're already like on track, moving away from them, something is saying, keep going. All right, Cancer. So that is what I have for you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. And if you're interested in a personal reading with me, check out the details in the description box.